Good morning, you guys. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some pieces in the green water state and uh, then it's how they look when they're finished, either the same piece or a similar piece. I've got both in this video. This is a little teapot that I did that is uh, inspired by a gourd that I saw, my wife and I saw when we were on a trip. And uh, I've been making a few of these for the last several years. And they have attached fins and, and uh, that are made from coils of clay and then blended into the piece. And this spout here is uh, hand built and just a coil rolled out and then a dowel pushed through it. And then I pull this handle out of a coil of clay and then texture it with a, a tool that's got little teeth in it. You can see how small this is from the lid. It's not a really a very functional teapot, but uh, well, it is functional. It works. But here's, here's the uh, result. This is not the same teapot. This is one that's a couple years old. And this uh, spout you can notice is, is thrown rather than hand built. This piece here is uh, another small teapot with uh, several coils to make the handle. And then here again is a hand-built spout. The reason I'm showing that is because it's, it's different than you'll see it. The, ne the next piece, the uh, spout was, was also thrown from a couple years ago. So it's, it's new and here that is. And this has got the same green glaze on it. It's a Val Cushing glaze if you're interested. It's a cone 10 reduction glaze. And I just pinch out these little leaves from uh, uh, a small kind of football shaped piece of clay. And here's one with some little pods on it, I call them. And you can see this little drip tray down the bottom to catch the glaze. The glaze is fairly runny. These are all made out of porcelain. Um, like I said, they're not, they, they, they're functional, but they're kind of heavy because of all the additions and, and so are fragile and they don't hold a lot of, uh, a lot of tea either, as you can imagine. Uh, that top, um, I was just showing you what that looks like thrown. And here is a finished one. Again, this is from last year and uh, it's somewhat different, but same glaze. And you can see how that tray captures any glaze that might fall down. And these are some pieces that are more production oriented. They're, um, I call them chili bowls. They're uh, like a cereal bowl size or chili bowl and with a handle attached. Again, these are all porcelain. And uh, I make a lot of these things. They're pretty popular. Some people actually use them for cappuccino, but uh, I think you'd be pretty wired by the time you had a cappuccino out of one of these. Here's the same bowls, some of them that are finished in a blue glaze I call uh, DC blue, and then a copper red glaze with a timaku at the top. And the, the blue glaze has a iron around the edge to make that gold color. Here's a vase. I do a lot of these decorative vases um, with this has lilies on it and this is the exact same piece uh, just came out of the kiln a couple of days ago and uh, it's probably about 12 inches tall or so and I, I don't know I've enjoyed doing these uh, floral things for a while and this is another one that I gave my wife for her birthday as a matter of fact <laughs> it's kind of strange I guess to give a potter <laughs> pottery but and here's a group of bowls. I just thought that you might be interested in, uh, like uh, I said, I'm, I'm a, I've been a potter for quite a while and I find that variety and shape and form are what people respond to. If you use a lot of different glazes and a lot of different shapes, uh, then people are probably going to find something that they like. So you can see from these nested bowls here that are getting ready for the bisque, there are lots and lots of different types of forms. Uh, these are some various platters that I have. Here's a few sculptural pieces that I do occasionally, kind of whimsical. And here's one that was on a video actually that I did on on handles. You might, if you're interested, look back at that one. Um, and it's got a copper or, or an iron red glaze at the top, and then this simple uh, glaze in the interior. And here's a that DC blue glaze again with iron around the edge and a little bit on the interior and outside. And it's fluted. That, this is a piece that was in the grouping that I showed you a few minutes ago. And here's uh, the soup terrine that I did recently. And you can see this piece uh, in the ladle um, video. And here's the finished ladle from the, in the soup terrine. That's it. Bye.